Hey there, I just want to show you something. I made a sample, a really stupid sample, called Meow Meow Meow, because all it is is me going Meow 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 And it just loops over and over again, right? And it's eight minutes long because I just copied and pasted it over and over again, right? And now I'm gonna go to Compressor. I have this set for Compressed Based on Peaks. So we got negative 12, negative 40, ratio 10, and these are set for the, the, what, they, what it comes with. And we're gonna do this here. About six seconds. And here it is, you know. Meow, meow, meow. So, now I'm going to show you how long that takes on the Mac side. And uh, it may surprise you, it may not. But uh, let's watch. All right, I'm gonna try this on the Mac side. And as you see, I've set the frame rate really low because, well, when I've tried to, I've done three other versions of this video and uh, by the time it gets to the actual processing of this of this audio file, it, uh, it, 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 it takes up so much processing power that it, it crashes OBS. So I'm going to try it this way. Okay, here's everything the same except 0 0.21 seconds instead of 20 because it just it doesn't let me select anything. It, go, it jumps from 19 to 21. So that's the only difference here. Ready? Here we go. And uh, let's see if it's if it crashed OBS or not. Is it actually still recording? Yes, it is. But we'll see if that actually uh, was able to achieve. Now, as you saw there, um, I had to lower the resolution, lower the frame rate, just to even because before when I tried to do it with it, it you know, 60 frames a second and uh, at a full 1080p. Um, OBS would just flat out crash. You, you couldn't even see the end result. And then what's funny is after you waited all that time, you still had to wait almost 10 more seconds while it shows the the, the uh, spinning rainbow ball just for it to, to display the changes that it made to that sample. Okay, now that sort of thing is what I experience on most programs on, when I use OS X. And these are some of the same programs I use on Windows. And... Uh, Let's say, let's go to a Photoshop, right? I just made this thing a little earlier. Okay, now, you can, you know, move this this around all you want here, right? And if I was to use the cursor keys and go like this to move it around, oh no, it just doesn't, it just doesn't know what to do. It's like, oh, I, I, I can't handle it. Ugh. It's so pathetic. It's just so pathetic. Okay, so, and, and, and when you're, you know, you do this, you hold it down for too long, well, you better wait for a full minute as it scrolls the entire thing down to the to where it's not even in your view anymore, and you can it just, just everything comes to a crawl just out of doing something simple like that, right? And it's it's just kind of pathetic. Uh, I can't play like if I try to use Firefox to play 60 frames per second video, it won't do it. Um, it just can't do it, it can't keep up. And you go to the forums, uh, Firefox forums, uh, Mac forums, and you get all these bullshit excuses. Well, you shouldn't you shouldn't want to, to, to view that in 60 frames per second. Our eyes can only perceive blah, 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 fucking blah, those stupid excuses a lot of people give for that shit. 
um, when we can clearly perceive 60 frames per second uh, difference uh, and 30 frames per second. You know, but these, you know, it's the same type of of making excuses for Apple and their uh, their desire to use. Uh, uh, the retina standard for their uh, iPhones instead of actually going with a nice 1080p, you know. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the only thing I will use the Mac, the, the OS 10 for are uh, digital audio workstations, and, you know, I might even s still switch over to Windows uh, 10 for uh, Renoise. I'm gonna, I'll test that out some more. Maybe, maybe on Windows 10 it will act a little better, um, you know, than it did on previous versions of Windows. Because I got to admit, Windows 10 is very fast. It really is. It's way faster than 7, and it seems to be faster than 8 was as well. So um, I just have to be careful of not installing certain things on on 10. But uh, and you know, if I can find some way to make a little extra money uh, per month. I may actually try to get Pro Tools instead of using uh, Logic Pro X because something I found I just cannot stand on Logic Pro X is how it handles multiple takes, uh, multiple takes on a regular audio channels. It's like you're stacking them and then you kind of choose randomly which one you want to, you actually want to play. You know, it sometimes won't play. It often won't even play the the track you just recorded. It'll play the previous version, and then you click on. It, it's just it's so complicated for absolutely no reason. And yet, Pro Tools is supposed to be the the program known that you have to you have to take classes to use. And I can use that program without a problem. I didn't take classes for it. It just made sense. So, you know. Uh, I, I may end up doing something like that and just dropping OS 10 altogether if that's the case, because it's just it's just they had some neat things about it, but uh, you know when uh, when Windows uh, did things like this and added uh, you know the same types of functionality you usually would have uh, only on the Mac, you know. Uh, there's there's no reason there's nothing that makes OS 10 better anymore. They've fallen behind. Apple has become like what the Amiga was in its last days. And well, I shouldn't say Apple. Well, no, I'll, I'll say Apple because their their sales are plummeting on their iPhones, especially after there's there's this thing. I don't know if you know about it. There's this. Here, let me see if I can look it up here. Um, do, do, do error 53 you know class error 53 class action uh, uh, okay it's 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 if you get your your iPhone repaired by a non Apple place um, they can decide to brick your phone I mean brick it you can't do a damn thing with it they'll it's this thing built in oh it's for security well just you know, disable the function of the fingerprint reader. That's what they should have done. No, they brick the whole phone because they want you to use their certified Apple technicians to do things and pay their premium prices for things. That's not going to go over very well. They are going to have some class action lawsuits against them. They're going to be hurting. They've fallen behind. Since Steve Jobs died, Apple is, 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 is dying. I can't imagine... And, and unless they get someone else as the CEO that, that knows how to, to pick up the pieces and continue and, and to go back into being actually innovative, they're going to be hurting. They're going to be hurting. That's all I got to say.